man, it's bright out here, but I've just come to Rusty's unit, 100 miles round trip, um, but I got something good to show you. We went for the black instead. Rusty added a bit of gold flake in there. I don't know if you can see it. Didn't have any uh, centre cap, so ended up nicking Angus's. Cheers, mate. You're not getting them back now because I quite like them. So, what I've got to do is you've got to take the R32 wheels off. I've got a guy coming to pick them up, um, sold them already, so that's quite handy. Take these off, sell them, put my new ones on. I'm going to roll the arches. Everyone knows on Mark IVs that the arches are quite wide, so I've got to roll them. Going 15mm spacers on the front and we're going 40mm hub centrics on the rear. Representing. Who's that? Strictly static. No, f that, mate. <laughs> I'm joking, Adam. Love you really, mate. Love you really. <laughs> right, let's get cracking. So we've got one wheel on. I've had to use spigot rings. Everyone knows what a spigot ring is. Change the centre bore of the wheel. Got the 40mm on the rear. I ran. 40 mils last year. Uh, I did have adjustable tie bars so I could uh, adjust the camber and get it sitting how I want. So I'm not actually sure how it's going to sit just bolting them spaces on and the wheels without having adjustable tie arms. Could work alright, but we'll see. But there's one on. Don't pay attention to the arch gap. And then that's the size of the beastie spacer. Not ideal, but these are good ones. I got them from Venom Motorsport. I ran them last year, didn't have any problems whatsoever. High speeds, anything like that. Uh, obviously, they bolt onto the hub first and then you bolt your wheels on straight after that. Well, let's grab another wheel. What one do we need? We need this one. This is dangerous manoeuvring right now. If I drop this, like I always drop shit. The rest ain't gonna be here. Cross such a rascal. Big camper. So, like I said as well, guys, I need to roll the front arches. I'd done this years ago on my R32 when I first got it, I had the Red XXRs. They were 975 ET12 or something like that, so I had to roll the arches. Used an arch roller, uh, done it properly. Get yourself a heat gun, just heat up the paint so it's nice and soft. You might cause a bit of damage, but if you just heat it up, it's going to save it from cracking and, and coming onto the surface. Um, if you roll them, if you just take your time, you, if, you don't, if you haven't used one before, I'll just run it through. So obviously bolt it onto the hub. You've got a little pin up there, so you just put the roller up tight to the arch as you can. You should really take the right lining out, but I'm going to keep mine in, see if I can, I don't know, just see if I can mould it to the shape of it as well. And you've got your little lever, tighten it up, and obviously uh, 
Move the roller back and forth. So I'm going to give that a go. Hopefully I don't make too much damage. You alright little man? Yeah. We've got to try that video, but I've never been in this country. You want to be in the next one? Yes. Alright, I'll get you in the next one. You've got to do something cool though. We have Carl Wasma turning up. That's baby love. Yeah, he's just gonna put them up. Should I switch it? Yeah, so switch it on. Make sure you don't put your hand in front of this. Put it on the second one. So switch up again. Up. That's it. And now bring it to, close to the car. Come on. Yeah. And don't get any closer than that. And what you want to do yeah. is you just want to follow the shape of the arch. That's it, get a little bit closer. Not too close, that's it. Look what you're doing. There you go, so that's heating that up. So when this gets nice and hot, the paint doesn't crack or anything like that. My mum's got damage. Is she? Yeah. Yeah, I can see. Look. My dad went on the train track the other night really fast and it cracked, her. It cracked the oil. Um, thing and it made oil go everywhere. Oh no, not good. Oh, good stuff, man. Right, do you want to turn it off and put it down? That's it, put it on the floor, make sure you don't burn yourself. It is hot. It, it is hot, isn't it? It burnt myself there. Oh no. No, no, no I didn't burn it, it was actually from my bike, I think. Good job, man. Well done. Look, what geezer? It looks like this has a um, monster face on. A monster face? Oh, yeah. There. It. Do you know what that's called? That's a star, star hex. So it's like an Allen key, but it's got loads of little bits on it. That so it goes into that bolt there. See that bolt on the floor? That moves on. Mhm. Mm there you go. It doesn't fit on where oh you. No. It's not magnetic, so it doesn't stay on there. <laughs> Just watching. Do you know what I'm doing? Yeah. What am I doing? Putting wheels on. No, do you know what this is? It's an arch roller. What, what do the arch rollers do? So what the arch roller does is underneath here, like you see that? Yeah. That was out here like that. So when I put this roller on it and make it yeah. on there, it pushes it flat. So that goes nice and thin. Because if it was thick like that, yeah. and when I put the wheels down, it would bend my arch. So you see this roller here? When I go like that, it makes all this bit nice and flat. Yeah, and it, and it makes a funny noise. It does, it does make a funny noise. Do you want to be in my video? Mm -hmm. Do you? What do you want to do? And then do share the love. You're going to share the love? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to be on your, your bike? You're going to do a little cruise by on your bike for me? I've got a big boy bike over there, and I've got a Lightning McQueen bike, which is little. What bike do you want to get on? I'm going um, to use my flame bike. My flame bike. Are you going to show me?
What are you gonna do? Share the love? Yes, you. Yeah. Go on then, go splash through that puddle for me. What? Both of them? Yeah, go on, as fast as you can. Oh, what you done? What you done? Oh, mate. That was, a good job. that was quite gnarly, though. It went. What are you done? God, look at that. It really hurts. Does it? But guess what? Do it for the love. Yeah. Come on, man. Get back on your bike. He'll do it. You're going to do it? Good man. I still do it even though I've hurt myself. Yesterday I fell on my motorbike twice and I still done it. Good man. What a little dude, he just like fell on stacked it into the fence. He's like cut his own motorbike. He's just like. I'm still going. He's still going. Oh, watch the cars. <laughs> Come here, little man. I'm good. Give me five. Yeah. So we're down. I've got the Vrens on. I'm not aired out at the minute because the paint's a bit soft on the wheels. So I don't want to damage the paint. But the arch does sit on top of the lip there. The front, the fronts are a bit... Need a bit of tinkering around. Uh, I think on the Mark IV Golfs, the passenger side sticks out sort of two or three mil more, so you need to have a custom the spacers or, or whatever. But apart from that, pretty happy with them. Yeah, that's right. Rusty, done a good job, mate. Sick. Done a good job, mate. <laughs> Ta da! Little man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy we went black, man. They're looking good in the sun. Yeah. Don't know if you can quite see it, but. Good in the sun, but not at night, will it? <laughs> what are you trying to say? Straight up compliment. <laughs> and they'll probably get lost in the night because night's black and the car's black. Night Rider. So there we have it, the car's 
aired out, there's still 10 psi in the rear bags. When I release all the pressure, it will go down to to pretty good fitment, uh, arch to lip. I don't I don't have that much stretch going on. Last year I ran 205, 35, and eight and a half. Uh, they were quite low profile, not massive stretch on there, but it's, it's still it was like a rubber band. I could feel everything on the road. So I went for a 215, 35 this year. Seems a hell of a lot better. Uh, feels really good on the road. The air ride as well. Obviously, I, you should see the video of me installing my air ride. Can't really fault it to be fair. The, the performance struts are absolutely amazing. Last year I ran the Slam series and they weren't that. Great, I didn't have an anti-roll bar, it felt wavy, so the air air ride and those wheels just feel absolutely brilliant. Next step for me now is the uh, whole reason why I got black wheels is to, to murder the whole car out. So I'm gonna tint the lights, I'm gonna tint the windows, got black bolts coming for the for the wheels, just anything really, just keep going. I've, I've always had an urge to, to murder out a car. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Like I said, obviously I've got the spacers on the front that I think I'm going to have to get one side chamfered down just so I can get the fitment nice and good. Uh, they are performance struts, like I said, so I can adjust the camber, but that's all got to be played around with. What I do is I'll send that to A14, tires and exhaust. When I go to get my exhaust done, they'll get it up, get all the wheels aligned and everything for me as well. So. But I hope you enjoyed the vlog guys, uh, obviously like I said to you what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and release a video once every week, it's either going to be a Sunday or a Monday just depending, obviously this week's been quite busy for me because I've, I've just moved down to Kent, just settling in, obviously helping Jordan out with all Sam UK applications, we're also going to be announcing the first batch of successful applicants, so don't worry though, if you haven't applied you've still got till middle of June to apply, uh, don't send in half-hearted photos of this is what my car's going to look like potentially because if we accept you and then your car's not ready and you're not there, then we don't have that space to give to someone else that could have potentially taken it. So send in some good pictures, give us a full description of your modifications on your car. We'll be going through more applications soon, so show's not till July the 15th, still got plenty of time guys. So yeah, head over to the Gravity Show, links in my bio on my Instagram page occasionally. I always put stories up so you just got to swipe up, apply and then you can enter your code and then you enter your car in for the show and shine. Don't forget to head over to my Patreon page as well guys, just have a little read up on the blog. I've also attached a Worthy blog on there as well from when I went last year. It's got loads of useful tips and just way to deal with the police out there because they are on your case. And obviously Worthy is coming up in sort of three to four weeks now. I'll be heading out there. I'm not taking the R32, I'm going to be filming a documentary with all the Slams UK lot, I'm going to be vlogging a lot as well, so hopefully I can keep you guys updated while I'm out there. Obviously it will be all live videos on my Instagram and that, so make sure you head over to my Instagram, follow me on there, ConnorMark4. If you're watching these videos guys and you haven't got a YouTube account, just sign up to a YouTube account, it takes you 5 seconds, and then hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers I get, the more comments I get, more people that like, that interact with my videos, that's how I'm going to be able to continue doing these videos for you guys. Taking time off work to try and focus on this full time, helping Jordan out with Gravity events. So more you guys get involved the the more I can do this I'm really enjoying myself I hope you guys are too the feedback's been absolutely brilliant so yeah make sure you hit the like button hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video peace